This is Andy Purwall for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. Once again, I'm Dlob Jumpboy. This is the lightweight King TV, my Lopez here in New York. Tio, um, it got heated up there, to say the least. What do you take away from your interactions there with George Cambosos, his father and his team? Just guys trying to make a name, you know what I'm saying? They talking, they talking whatever they want to talk. Hey, it is what it is. I'm looking forward to Saturday night doing my thing and just uh, focusing on, on the bigger things at Taz, you know? It don't matter, man. Whatever they're trying to do, whether it's mind games or anything like that, we've been there, done that. So ain't nothing new for us. I look forward, man. I'm excited. Like, they don't understand. That only makes me more excited. That hypes me up even more. That boosts me to a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is the part where I love about my sport. I miss this. I miss this uh, interaction. I miss this environment, man. It's been too long. So to know this is my show, this is what I do, I'm going to put on a show for everybody come Saturday night. Do you think you've gotten underneath the skin of George Cambosos? I don't care. The thing is, whether I do or whether I didn't, I don't care because come Saturday night, that's when I'm going to be in his skin. You know what I'm saying? That's when I'm going to punch right through him. And that's what I'm looking forward to, you know? Everybody has a game plan until they get punched in the face, right? So I look forward to just putting on a show. I don't have no game plan coming into this fight. I just go out there and do what I got to do and execute. I spoke to Joe Markovsky of DAZN earlier and he said that he feels that many people have forgotten about your performance against Vasyl Lomachenko. Do you feel like that yourself? Do you think people have forgotten just how good of a performance that was heading into Saturday? Yeah, I believe so. You know, I believe that uh, it's just because people are looking forward to seeing more of me. And I understand that, you know, and, and I would love to do that. I'm a people pleaser, you know. I'm a, I'm a champion where I'm just trying to make everybody and the fans enjoy what I do and what I'm trying to do for, the, for my sport. So, yeah, you know, I, I, I can understand that. I can see that. I must have forgot who I am. You know, for how long it's been. So I'm just, I'm just in awe to know that I'm going to be back here at Madison Square Garden, Hulu Theater, and to go out there and just remind myself, rather than everyone else, remind myself who I still am, and that's the undisputed unified lightweight world champion. So at the end of the press conference, you said you don't want to shake hands, you don't want to be you know, mates or nothing after the fight. Is this the first time heading into about you've had that type of tension or hatred, if hatred's the right word, towards somebody? I don't hate nobody. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I may dislike him. Yeah, I dislike him very much. Absolutely. So I don't want no handshake. Not from his team, not from his father, his manager, all of them. They know what they could do with it. You know, they can shove it up there, you know what. So at the end of it all, man, that's who, I, I've never been that type. And I want to tell, you know, I want, you know, from the man above to forgive me for it. But I just can't tolerate that. You know, uh, God forgives, you know, but you never forget, right? So I'll forgive uh, a partial of it, but I can't, I can't give you that after the fight. So just one thing I forgot to ask you about yesterday was um, I saw you had some strapping across your arm at the workout. Is, is there an injury or anything or...? No, you know, it's just uh, just relaxing the muscles, you know, the tension and everything. I mean, there is uh, some parts of it that play, but at the end of it all, man, I'm just focused on uh, just putting on a show, you know. It comes with it, man. This is the, this is the hurt business, right? And a lot of us, man, we work, our, we work our butt off. You know, we put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and we do what we have to do, you know, when we're in those camps. Nine months in camp for preparation for George Cambosis, you know what I'm saying? And it's like I've perfected my craft or I'm perfecting my craft because no one's perfect but God. I'm perfecting what I have to do just so I could execute Saturday night. What did you make of George's comment saying that he was working in the shadows, he was working in the dark when you was away doing your own work? They don't know what I know, right? Or they don't feel what I feel. It's He could say whatever, go ahead, good for you, but you don't know what I was going through while doing all this. You don't know the stuff that I was, I was in. But the thing is like, what I learned from everything, awareness and humbleness will go far. What I learned from all this, man, is this. Everyone, everyone, everyone is, uh, you gotta understand, is a, is a prime example of what you can and what you cannot do. And I learned that because I'm very observant. And I just, um, whatever he wants to say, trenches, uh, darkness, and all that stuff. Cool, you in the dark, bro. I'm in the light. <laughs> you know? And that's, uh, it's not about the big bright lights or anything like that. It's about staying humble through it all. Right, yeah, just a final one before I let you go because we are about to be kicked out, as everybody heard. Just a message to George Cambosos ahead of Saturday night. 